Hey guys, welcome back to another Animated Stories. My name is Todd, I'm a writer and director here at UCB Comedy. This week we have a story from you from Matt Shafiq called The Arrogant Atheist and the Confused Christian. It's a story animated by Jason Mencia from The Ugly Americans. Cool thing about this show is that the animators have exactly four weeks to animate a five minute story. That's a challenge. Let's see what Jason came up with. I entered Williams College in the fall of 1997. I was sort of an outspoken atheist, which was kind of a rare thing at that time. I engaged in as many heated religious debates that I, I could find myself in. Uh, I, I remember one particularly heated debate I had, the topic of free will came up, and I forget the exact point I was trying to make, but I do know it ended with me banging my head on the table to express my point. So I found myself in a student-run production of a show called The Price of Paradise, uh, where I played Moses. Uh, casting director had a sense of humor. So in that show, I met a girl named Emily, and Emily was this cute little uh, brunette. She had this hippie-ish hippie vibe going on about her. She's cute. And uh, we hung out at the uh, at our cast party for the show. At night we got talking, got a little tipsy. And at one point she stood up and took my hand and took me back to her, her dorm. Uh, we get there, we open the door inside, and there are uh, Bible quotes all over the wall. Uh, which made my jaw drop. And uh, for obvious reasons, I kept my mouth shut at the time. She uh, let me know right away that everything from here down belonged to God, uh, which frustrated me as an atheist, but really frustrated me as a man. We spoke the next day, and I figured once she found out I was an atheist, that's it. it. Turns out she was actually okay with it. The conversation went something along the lines of, you know, I like you, do you like me? And I said yes. And she said, I'm okay with you being a hardcore atheist, are you okay with me being a devout Christian? And I said, yeah, sure, why not? So we uh, started dating. The topic of religion was tabled for the most part. Shelved? Tabled? Hit shelved. Uh, board? I don't know. There was a Christian organization on campus called the Williams Christian Fellowship, and they found out about Emily and I dating, and they decided to actually have a meeting about us, which is amazing, because as a narcissist, who doesn't want a meeting about them, you know? And they had this meeting, and they actually decided that the best course of action was to basically give her an ultimatum and say, you cannot date anymore. So she went and she called me over that night. I went to her dorm and she's crying and she told me, I'm sorry, I don't really agree with what they're saying, but I don't really see us continuing dating after, after you graduate. So I said, okay, and I left her dorm and I stormed back to my room, slammed the door, and proceeded to compose the nastiest email of my life, which over the course of about 27 paragraphs said three major things. One. Uh, you're all a bunch of hypocrites. Two, this is exactly why I don't believe in organized religion. And three, eat a fucking dick. And I sent the email out to every single member of the WCF, to Emily, to my friends on campus, to my friends off campus, to my family, to professors, to the, uh, the school paper, the school president, to everyone. And I went to sleep that night thinking that in the morning I was gonna wake up and I would have started an atheist revolution that the people would be sitting at my door, uh, my dorm, with pitchforks and knives and torches, ready to go all the way to the Vatican and take down the organized religion from, from its origins, I guess. But when I woke up that morning, what I had mostly in my inbox was a bunch of emails from friends that said, whoa, dude, uh, <laughs> not exactly the revolution I was hoping for. So things mostly passed, and I graduated a few weeks later. Uh, Emily actually had me over her place. So she had this nice little small Christian home, and they fed me a nice little Christian meal. And after hanging out with her, I realized there's two kinds of people in the world. There are the Emilys who believe what they believe and tolerate those around them. And uh, there are people like the WCF who are intolerant assholes. And I choose to be more like Emily. Subscribe to this channel if you like this. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Uh, I'll see you guys next Wednesday.